what's up everybody welcome back to my youtube channel and today as you can see i have some brand spanking new asus S animate products um, here in my flat and i am gonna give my final uh, opinion fi final verdicts for the rog delta s animate and the flare 2 animate so if you're interested in that um, stick around and as always uh, both of these uh, products you can find uh, down below through my Amazon affiliate links and I'm gonna put some ASUS's website information down there as well if you really want to check them out but anyway um, yeah I guess you guys already have seen them um, from a video or a news post here and there and uh, maybe it caught your eye and you are asking yourself well should I actually buy these things now because the animate screen does look pretty interesting I guess uh, but how good is it exactly? Is it worth the money? That's what we're gonna try and find out now. So, first of all, let's begin things off with the ASUS um, ROG Delta S Animate uh, headphones. Now, uh, most of you, or most of you, some of you might know that I have been using the ROG Deltas as my main headset with the microphone um, throughout my videos since 2018, since they launched pretty much, because the sound quality from the ESSS9281 DAC is pretty darn good, and the microphone uh, on the regular Deltas is up to this day really, really nice. So, yeah, I was just, you know, waiting and waiting until ASUS would improve the microphone, uh, which would enhance my experience with the headphones because I am a content creator and if I want to make some uh, gameplay videos or something like that uh, then a good microphone is what I need. So what exactly is uh, new with the ROG Delta S Animate here? Well simply put the only real difference between the regular Delta is the microphone. Th that, that's about it. Uh, it still uses the same audio DAC uh, of the ESSS uh, 9281 from 2018. So the only real change uh, that has any actual meaning is the microphone. While the Delta uses a regular analog microphone that sounded pretty good, uh, the Delta S Animate is also using an analog, but with AI noise cancellation. And um, yeah, let me be straight here. It's not for me. Uh, I mean, it might be for somebody who's, you know, just playing games casually, want a good sounding headphone and want to communicate with their friends through, um, through games, right? And um, just don't want any outside noise to be picked up by the microphone, right? For those situations, uh, this microphone is really exceptional, a uh, great, great job from Asus. But I believe they should, I, I, I think they should uh, make two different versions of uh, headphones. One with um, the focus being on the AI noise cancellation, and the other be uh, the focus of studio microphone quality. So what I mean by that, Let's uh, quickly take a look at the clip that I recorded earlier uh, for you guys to see what the difference is with the AI noise cancellation and uh, is this feature for you or not. Right, so welcome to the microphone test department and right now as you can see uh, I am wearing the ROG Delta uh, S Animate on my hair. It's a really similar fit, They're pretty much copy paste from the uh, regular Deltas, right? But at the moment you are not hearing me from this thing here. Right now you're hearing me uh, from my Canon 70D which is hooked up to the Rode Mic Pro, which is a pretty decent um, microphone for a camera. Uh, but now let's uh, um, switch things to the ROG Delta S Animate. So this is my voice coming from uh, this little uh, AI noise cancelling microphone here. And um, I mean, yeah, it, it is. It is kind of ruining the audio quality, in my opinion. So take a, a quick listen to the regular Delta microphone to see uh, what the actual sound quality difference is. So now my voice is coming from the Rogue Deltas and I've uh, tweaked a little bit of um, the voice here uh, through the ASUS um, Rogue Armory software uh, to make the sound quality you know, as perfect as possible. 
but it is pretty perfect also out of the box so it's just a little bit of fine tuning uh, to get you know the best performance possible all right so now i've actually disabled the ai noise cancelling altogether uh, you can have it always on right but now it's actually disabled so you may hear a little bit better audio quality coming from the mic uh, right now. So, as you can hear, the difference is actually pretty alarmingly big. And uh, the regular Deltas are already, you know, multiple years old, right? I, I think they came out like in 2018. So, yeah, I was really hoping that uh, Asus would go with the route of uh, improving the mics to be studio quality mics, right? Uh, but they have chosen to go with the AI noise cancelling uh, mics. So, I mean, these are still good if you're living in a big family or something and, you know, just want to play with your friends and they, you don't want your friends to hear, you know, kids screaming or something like that, right? Uh, but let's test this out, right? Uh, now, I'm going to play a, a song on the background so you can understand how well it actually cancels out any outside noise. Alright, so now you should be hearing uh, Don Glance's Division 2 soundtrack uh, on the background. If you can't, then the AI noise cancelling software is doing a pretty decent job, uh, which it is doing right now. Uh, it is on the medium setting, so you can actually put it into a lower setting or a higher setting uh, to, you know, be more aggressive or less aggressive. But I'm going to switch my voice to the Rode Mic Pro so you can see what's playing. So this this is actually what's going on in my room. It's pretty it's pretty loud. Uh, so let's switch back to here, so you can actually hear me. All right. So anyway, it is working really well. But yeah, uh, the AI noise cancelling software it is destroying the audio quality of the mic, right? So if you're looking for a microphone to do some videos or some content creation. There's some better options out there. So as you could hear the audio quality, I mean, it really depends on your uh, needs and your situation, right? For me, this is not a beneficial. I still prefer to stick with the old uh, Deltas from 2018 uh, just because of the microphone. But if you want AI noise cancelling software and um, you feel that it will help uh, you out, then yeah, not a bad choice here. Now, the other major thing to talk about here, right? Uh, I didn't want to bring this up earlier because it doesn't actually make any difference uh, uh, on the quality of uh, a headphone or the microphone, right? And that is, of course, the animate screen, right? Which is a small little, actually a big little extra, big, big extra uh, that helps you, you know, visually make the ROG Delta S Animate stand out on your desk, on your uh, headphone stand, right? It looks darn good if you keep it plugged in all the time. Uh, but you can actually go into the ASUS's Armory Grade software and configure your Anime Matrix display. So that's what it's actually called, but I'm gonna just um, stick with Animate screen here. Uh, now, yeah, the you, you can actually configure the display to display pretty much anything you want there, at least for a static image. I couldn't find an option to actually put some videos on there, some, you know, movies or something like that, right? Uh, but I could, you know, choose a nice Lambo uh, wallpaper that I had, right? And see how it looks. And uh, it, it looks uh, pretty horrid. <laughs> uh, I mean, Okay, let's get one, one, one thing straight here. The, the screen is kind of a meme, right? Uh, so it's nice to display some uh, short GIFs uh, made by ASUS. You can't add custom GIFs there. You can uh, select um, pre-made uh, GIFs from ASUS selection there and combine two effects into one, like add text on top of a GIF and stuff like that, which looks a bit messy but still pretty interesting right but the thing is these are just you know holes and a white lead and no rgb effects nothing like that and yeah as you can see when i actually put a you know a picture of a lamborghini there it, it, it I, I couldn't understand what's going on there so yeah the screen is kind of a meme uh, where you can display memes that are pre-selected by ASUS and the selection screen is not that big. 
Uh, you can add custom uh, pictures. Maybe you can, you know, further en enhance those pictures to be displayed better on the uh, any matrix display there. But yeah, I couldn't find a real use for it. I mean, it, 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 <laughs> at the end of the day, it looks fine, but nothing game changing, right? So my final verdict, yeah, is going to be a six out of ten. Six out of ten if you actually want a studio quality microphone. And maybe a seven if you prefer the AI noise cancellation. I maybe even give it a five out of ten uh, if you prefer a studio quality microphone because it just has the AI noise cancelling microphone and if that's the case, then yeah, they feel as good as the regular Deltas, right? But why on earth am I giving it a five maximum of about six? Yeah, five to six is the Deltas cost up to this day 120 bucks. You can get the Delta Cores without the RGB effects for a little less like 90 bucks. The ROG Delta S Animate are about 300 bucks. That's like three times more, and I, I'm sorry, there's nothing there to justify the price. I mean, the Animatrix or Animate screen there, I mean, it looks cool, but, but it's not 200 bucks cool. So, in my opinion, yeah, not. I mean, they're okay, but the price is just absolutely insane. If the price would have been 150. 40, I'd still kind of prefer the regular Deltas just because I don't I don't like uh, AI noise cancelling microphone because it just absolutely destroys the uh, microphone quality. Uh, it helps in a, no a noisy place, but yeah, uh, that's that. Anyway, let's move on to the ROG Strix Flare Do Animate. Uh, so this thing here, I checked around. Uh, does go around 180 to uh, 220 bucks, so 180 bucks for the regular RGB version and 220 bucks for the animate screen version. And I mean, taking it out of the box and looking it uh, and plugging it in, I mean, it looks pretty decent. Uh, nothing too bad to say. Overall, the keyboard is pretty decent. Uh, it is using ROG's NX mechanical switches for those interested and has an 8000 Hz polling rate. I mean, performance wise, it is what you would want from a good gaming uh, keyboard. Uh, the overall build and design here is pretty darn good. It does have a small wrist rest as well, uh, if you wish to, you know, use that. And um, also has some media buttons that have been uh, placed on the top left corner where your hands are most, li light most likely, most of the time, situated. So it is very easy to adjust the volume or use the media keys and everything can be customized through the ASUS's Armory uh, great app as well. Uh, even the volume up and down can be customized to bring up an app or something like that. It's pretty neat actually. Uh, now, the first things that I actually felt uh, was when I laid my hands on it that the keys are not like smooth. They have this uh, kind of a rougher uh, touch uh, feel for them. And I guess it's to do with, you know, your hands sweating when doing long gaming sessions so it might help out there a little bit you know be, be a little bit better grip uh, for me I, I don't know I, I didn't actually really like it that much uh, maybe it is for you so if you can before purchasing definitely put your hands on it to see if the feel if, it, if the feel is right for you because it, it doesn't have you know the usual smooth buttons it, it's pretty pretty different But anyway, uh, other than that, uh, I mean, as you can see, of course, it is the Animate version, the Animatrix display here. And uh, yeah, of course, you can configure that as well, like with the ROG Delta S Animate uh, through the Armory Great software. And pretty much the same thing. Uh, you can, you know, select pre-selected GIFs from ASUS to, to be displayed on that uh, part, uh, part of the uh, keyboard and combine text on it as well. I mean, it looks okay, right? And you can put your uh, custom pictures of Lamborghinis there that 
it doesn't work. It's just uh, you you need to make some pretty uh, unique pictures to display uh, well there, I think. So yeah, you need to do some extra work. It doesn't do well because you know you need to understand it's just you know some few pixels there that are l lit up by white leds so nothing too crazy stuff right uh but anyway yeah it's it's kind of fine but it's kind of i mean how often do you actually look at your keyboard when you're typing right of course if you're you know sitting on your couch and watching a movie or something and your keyboard is glowing and there's some i i mean it I, it kind of looks better on your desk like this right but at the end of the day it doesn't really make any real difference and um, lastly i mean coming to the rgb right of course it is an rgb mechanical rgb keyboard right um, you can configure the rgb effects as well but to this day you can't add multiple effects into one effect pretty much right so you can't make some certain keys uh, to be lit by a single led color like white or something like that and still have an rgb rainbow effect going on underneath every every other keys right so yeah that's so, i mean asus why what's stopping what's stopping this uh, it would be neat to you know have some certain like must keys always be white or red or whatever color right and the RGB effects still, still go on on the keyboard and maybe add a third layer on top of that, right? So if I actually push a key, it would explode into different colors, right? And then the RGB effect uh, of the rainbow would still be underneath that. So yeah, I mean, there's a job to be done there. But overall, it is a pretty decent keyboard. Uh, so my final verdict for the ROG, ROG Strix Flare 2 Animate is a decent 8 out of 10. I mean, not too expensive, but it is up there, right? Uh, but it does have an animate display if you care about it. It does have a USB pass-through port as well, right? A nice wrist rest, nice media buttons there. And um, yeah, overall, the keyboard feels good. Just that I, I don't really like the rough key keycaps. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Just when you can, try it out before you buy. Anyway, that's gonna be it for my quick little re review here. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll be seeing you soon guys. Ciao for now.